Okay, let's take some problems on Roman system of numerals. We discussed certain concepts in the previous video, but let's see certain problems now. So let's say you were asked to interpret following. Okay. This is a question on repetition. So when two numbers are there, two numerals are there, what do we do? We add them up. So you've got x which whose value is 10 and then you add another one to this. Since the number are common, we don't get into which should be added, which should be subtracted and all those things. Similarly, where you have three i's, this is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1. Right? Let's take a second problem. So let's say we write, okay? Now we know that whenever a smaller number is there on the right side of a Roman numeral, that has to be added to it. So you have x which is equal to 10 plus v. v is what? v is equal to 5. 5 is less than 10. It is on the right side of x. So you add it. Right? Now let's say you had v x. Right? So how do you compute the value of this? There's a trick in this particular question that I have written, which is that normally the rule is what? If the number on the left side is less than the number on the right side, the number on the left side is to be subtracted from the right side number. But we also know that V cannot be subtracted. Hence, this is not a valid number. Right? On the contrary, this would have been a valid number if you would have had because in this case i is equal to 1, x is equal to 10. So ideally you should subtract 1 from 10 and i can be subtracted. So you write this as x which is 10 minus 1. 9. Right? Now let's say for example you had uh, How do you solve this? In such cases, what you need to do is you need to do the groupings. So let's say we take the numbers starting from the extreme right. So what are the two numbers that you have on the right side? You have 1 and 4. So what will be the value of 1 and v? I'm not saying it's 4 actually, it's v. So if these are the two numbers and i is on the left which is 1, v is on the right which is 5. If the number on the right is greater than the number of the left, what do we do? We subtract the number on the left from the number on the right. And we know that i can be subtracted. Right? And it can be subtracted only from v and x. v is here. So we write this as 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Right? So we've solved this portion. Right? It is equal to for now this number is obviously less than x which is 10 so you add it 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 right now let's take maybe a couple of more example can you find out the value of this number Or let's say this number. N no. Why? Because no digit can be repeated more than three times. And here you have x is equal to five times. Hence, this digit does not portray anything correctly. Let's say if you have to compute the value of triple C x x1. So how do you compute it? 
you will do the sum of all these numbers. C is equal to 100 plus 100 plus again that on the number on the right is smaller or equal so 100 plus x is definitely less than c so you add 10 plus x and x are equal so again add 10 plus 1 so this gives you 321 right similarly you can kind of do all these problems on roman system of numerals